In the world of supercars, no brand is more highly valued than Ferrari. With its sleek design and robust engines, the Italian automaker commands respect. But not all models are created equal. Some Ferraris boast more than under-the-hood dynamics and stunning exteriors. Of course, these extras come with a hefty price tag, making the following beauties the top five most expensive Ferraris of all time. And if you're not familiar with just how rare and collectible these cars really are, prepare to have your mind blown. The Top 5 Most Expensive Ferraris Based on limited availability and production, along with a robust roster of impressive features and precisely engineered extras, the following models sell for several million dollars each, and collectors are willing to fork over the cash for these legendary Italian machines. Number 5. Ferrari 250 GT LWB California Spider Competizion Price $18.15 million Year of release 1959 The Ferrari 250 GT LWB California Spider Competizion is a mouthful to say, but happens to be one of Ferrari's oldest and most venerated racing vehicles with the classic 1603 GT chassis. Though many of them were produced, only nine had the alloy body that this one did, selling at a Gooding & Company auction for $18.15 million. This car came equipped with a 2,953cc SOHC Type 168 V12 engine, an independent coil spring front suspension, and Hudai shock absorbers. With an engine rated for 275 braking horsepower at 7,000 RPM, this car was built to race. Did you know? Another example of these nine cars sold at a Sotheby's auction for $17.99 million. That particular model was the one that won fifth overall at the 24 Hours of Le Mans in 1959. Number 4. Ferrari 275 GTB C Special Price 27 million. Year of release, 1966. Like the body, chassis arrangements focus on reduced weight. A smaller diameter chassis is used and, like the GTO, has a separate structure to support the roof and body. Furthermore, much of the tubes and chassis details are drilled. The interior is completely stripped and magnesium is used for various engine and transaxle castings to reduce weight. Powering the Special is a modified version of the 275 engine, which is almost a six-car version of the 250 LM unit. In 1965, power was rated at 300 braking horsepower, but it has been postulated that this engine can produce much more, since the figure was advertised for homologation purposes. The alloy bodywork on this car is extra thin gauge, promoting its wind resistance. The altered versions of the 275 GTB were reworked by the coach builder Pininfarina, overseen by Ferrari's body designer Carrozzeria Scaglietti. Another example of the C Special from 1964 was sold for $26.4 million at another auction. Number 3. Ferrari 290mm Spider Scaglietti Price $28 million Year of release 1956 for 1956, at the suggestion of a returning engineer, the legendary Vittorio Giano, Enzo took the decision to revert to his thunderous trademark V12 engine after developing various 4 and 6 cylinder Mondials, Monzas, and 118 and 121 LMs. Giano and engineer Andrea Freschetti created an all new engine, although it followed the principles inaugurated by Aurelio Lampredi with an integral block and cylinder heads with screwed-in wet liners. The new engine was shorter and wider than the previous Lampredi designs, with considerable effort being put into the combustion chamber design to improve inlet and exhaust valve function. Additionally, two spark plugs per cylinder were fitted, with the net result being a 40 brake horsepower increase over the similarly sized 860 Monza. Engine was a V12 at 60 degrees, derived from the 4.5 liter, was then used in the Scuderia's Formula One cars. Displacement was 3,490 cubic centimeters for a maximum power of 320 horsepower at 7,200 RPM and a maximum speed of 280 kilometers per hour. The car won the 1956 Mil Miglia, raced by Eugenio Castellotti, 
while another 290 mm led by Juan Manuel Fangio arrived fourth. Phil Hill and Morris Trentignant also won the Swedish Grand Prix of that year, granting Ferrari the overall victory in the World Sports Car Championship. The following year, a 290 mm won the 1000 km Buenos Aires. Number 2. Ferrari 335 Sport Scaglietti. Price $35.7 million. Year of release 1957. The car has an interesting pedigree as it first competed in the Sebring 12 hours in March 1957 and finished sixth. The car also came in second at the Mia Miglia and became the first model in history to have an average lap speed of over 200 km per hour at the Le Mans 24 hours. Sir Sterling Moss is also affiliated with the car as he drove it to victory at the Cuba Grand Prix in 1958. The car was eventually sold to Pennsylvania architect Robert N. Dusick in 1960. He held on to the model for 10 years before selling it to Pierre Brandinen who is a noted collector and has assembled a collection of approximately 50 Ferrari factory race cars. Number 1. Ferrari 250 GTO – The Holy Grail of Collectible Cars Price – $70 million. Year of Release – 1963 In 2017, Bernard Carl privately sold his Ferrari 250 GTO to race car driver Gregor Fiskin for $44 million. However, the sale resulted in a $500,000 lawsuit because Fiskin claimed the car didn't have the original gearbox, suing for the value of the gearbox alone of $25,000 along with the $500,000 to compensate him for his search time to find one. Fiskin claimed Carl knew about the replaced gearbox. The Ferrari gearbox price alone could buy a new sedan. Another CNBC report featured a world record sale of one of these legendary cars. A super rare 1962 Ferrari 250 GTO rolled down the line at RM Sotheby's collector sale and sold for an astounding $48.4 million. This record-breaking auction beat out the previous record holders, a 1957 Ferrari that once sold for $35 million and a Ferrari 250 GTO Berlinetta that sold in 2014 for $38 million. In summer 2018, a private sale saw a 1963 Ferrari GTO exchange hands for $70 million. This landmark purchase marks the highest purchase price for any car ever, and it proves the holy grail of Ferraris is certainly the most expensive. Its V12 engine produces 302 horsepower, pushing the GTO from 0 to 60 miles per hour in a speedy 5.4 seconds, top speed reports. That was all from us today, folks. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like it and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one.